it's me, Kat. I'm back. I wanted to talk to you about a few different ways that you can actually clear your mind of those negative thought patterns that have been instilled or imprinted into you um, from your childhood. And um, one of the best things you can actually do is to actually do um, a meditation and think about something that you say you feel you need to work on, whether it's love or finances or having a more peaceful life. Um, you can just, you know, be quiet for a minute, and f about five minutes, and any of those negative thoughts that come up, you write them down on a piece of paper, okay? Don't worry, it's not gonna manifest it into your life because I'm gonna show you what happens to it afterwards. You're gonna rip it all out. Okay, I just did this. It feels really good to do this. So you write down your negative thoughts and then you just rip. You know how to rip the paper up. You know, just have fun with it. Yeah, and then you, ah, rip. I rip. Rip it into the teeniest, tiniest little pieces that you can. You know, it's funny, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, I wrote this song called Ripping years ago, and um, it was recorded, and I have no idea what happened to it. If anyone ever finds it, <laughs> would you please let me know? <laughs> what was it? Ripping, tearing, and shredding. Gone all from the grave. That's one of the lyrics in it. That's my song. So if you find it somewhere, please let me know because it's out there somewhere and I just don't know where. Okay, you get the idea. So you're gonna rip it all up. And then you are you can throw it away if you want to or you can burn it. Um, I did this once on a new moon and I didn't know it was a new moon. And um, so I was burning it and I had a fire assignment due for photography. So I was taking photos of it and the photos were super beautiful. Um, unfortunately, the hard drive that those were on was kaput. Which makes me really sad because I wish that I had backed that all up. was a big bummer, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> so, with that being said, back up photographers. Make sure you back up everything. CDs, DVDRs, whatever you've got. Back it up. Back it up onto another hard drive. <laughs> just in case, just, you just never know. <laughs> You never knew you were gonna get a photography lesson in here too, you know? It, but it is that idea of what you focus on tends to grow. So if your mind is, say, focused on an avocado, right? And that avocado is like a really, really good. I'm looking at some avocado right now, right? I mean, you can change your point of, point of focus a little bit. You can blur out two of the avocados and take look at one avocado and you're like, mmm, now one avocado makes some mighty fine guacamole, right? But then you're thinking, yeah, but if I added more of the avocados in, I could make even more guacamole. And then you start thinking about all the things that go into making that guacamole. So now you're not even focused on taking the photo anymore. You're thinking about guacamole. So the mind does these little steps around things, right? So back this up and look at the big picture. You're looking at an avocado. It's not guacamole yet. What does it take to make really, really good guacamole? I'm not giving up my secret recipe, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know, everyone has their own recipes for that guacamole. And it's the same idea for your brain. Not that your brain is guacamole, but you know, all of those different ingredients that go into making you who you are as a person. So those imprints that got put into your mind when you were a child, 
um, you know, stirring up in your brain and you've got the idea of maybe you're mushy and sentimental like I am and you love kittens and puppies and horses and, and fluffy burrows and things like that, you know, you're like, oh, they're so cute, <laughs> right? So then the, your, there's the other side where it, maybe some negative thought patterns were put in. So maybe you were bullied, unfortunately, like I was. So maybe people said some not so nice things to you, like you're stupid or you're a moron or you're ugly or you're a loser. And maybe things got, you know, physical and you got thrown around a little bit like I did. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's a sad thing. Bullying is a sad thing. Um, but it says more about the person that is bullying than it does about the person that is being bullied. Okay? So you need to remember that. And again, if, if you're a child and you're watching this, please make sure that you tell a trusted adult that you're being bullied. Um, tell a parent. You can tell, tell someone. I never told anyone and I kept it inside of me for a very long time and then I wish that I hadn't because it caused um, me a lot of issues when I was um, kind of in, in my tween years and on into my teenage years of really bad feelings of self-worth and zero confidence and I just felt really really badly about myself and I ended up getting stuck in a very bad relationship so I do want to put that out there that if you are bullied when you're very young make sure that you tell people and make sure that you get yourself the help that you need because otherwise it's going to cause you years of just um problems with your self-worth and your self-esteem and your self-confidence and it's better to do early um, intervention and get yourself feeling better about yourself and I know in teenage years if you're a teenager and you're watching this I'm sorry I was a teenager once it really is not the most fun time in your life but you know it's, it can be challenging, but you just need to remind yourself that after all, tomorrow's another day, right? So things could change. And it's also about how you react to that um, situation. So I tended to kind of laugh things off a little bit. And some of the teachers were becoming aware of what was happening. Um, unfortunately, it got me to a really bad place and I, I am gonna put this out there, that I did attempt suicide. I did attempt it. Obviously, it didn't work. Um, yeah, the bullying got to me. Um, a lot of things were getting to me, and I just couldn't do it anymore. You know, uh, uh, and I said to myself, I, I need to get out. I can't, I can't, I just can't. And um, I survived it. And then when I had to go back to school, it was very difficult because then it became a different form of bullying. So then it was, oh, you're so stupid, you can't even kill yourself right. So it was just sort of like, oh my God, right? You know, dead girl walking. And I'm like walking, you know, clutching my books as I'm walking down the hall and looking down. And, you know, I was in this bad relationship and I was just like, oh my God, I can't, I can't, just, I can't, you know. Um, there were so many days that I didn't go to school. I mean, this is way before cell phones and all of this, so I just was in such a bad place, and I didn't know how to deal with all of it, and I didn't deal with it well at all. I finally um, ended up getting into some therapy and getting some help, but quite honestly, it wasn't soon enough because those negative thought patterns have been so ingrained into me that it has taken a lot to um, pull out of it. Um, but one of the exercises that I was given once, and I've been doing it a few times now. <laughs> See these pieces of paper? I've been ripping up, you know, all of those things that people said about me and just ripping it up. 
Just have to rip it up. Rip it. Rip it good. Okay. Um, another really, really good exercise to do is pretend that you are tending to a garden. Okay? So you're going to pull out the weeds. And when you're pulling out the weeds, you're going to say what that weed is. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. My, my mind just went there too. Okay, so you're pulling out, you know, this long leafy green or, you know, embedded root of something. <laughs> so you're saying, okay, I'm pulling out this negative thought pattern of being really stupid. All right. Ooh, wow. There's a lot of roots on this thing. Ugh. Getting rid of this pattern of being stupid and making stupid decisions, you know, and you're getting into it and you're pulling it out and you threw it. Okay, universe, you're going to take that for me and deal with it, please. Because <laughs> I can't deal with it anymore. Right? And the universe will take care of it for you. Okay. So, what do you want in place of that root? Okay, so I'll settle for being pretty, you know. So let's say you have some roses and you want to plant some roses. You're planting some roses. Uh, oh, pretty. These, how pretty, right? Oh, these are actually really quite beautiful. And then you can kind of get into it because you're looking, you're imagining the flowers there, and you're like. These are gonna be so beautiful. And there's little buds right here, and the sun's gonna come out, and it's gonna be so beautiful. Oh, and these are so vibrantly red, and oh my goodness, this is gonna be so pretty, wow. You know, and you get really excited about it. So, it's really about putting emotion into it. So, if you live like in an apartment building like I used to when you're doing this, you may wanna put some music on. <laughs> You can get as loud as you want to in doing this exercise and get excited as excited as you want to when you're doing this excited. So, you know, you can do this for several different, you know, things to clear, just clear out that negative gunk that's sitting there in your mind. You, you know, you could even do, um, I, I'm going to put a meditation on here soon, but let's just I'm going to give you the basis of the meditation so you can do this. And what you're going to do is sit with your feet flat on the floor and just imagine that your feet are growing roots. Okay? And those roots, if you're in an apartment building, just imagine your feet, those roots are going, you know, straight down through all of those layers of the apartment building and into the ground you know underneath the parking garage or whatever and they're grabbing into the soil and they're being pulled more and more and more into the earth so you are feeling grounded and you are feeling centered and you feel like you are a part of mother earth and then what you are going to do is just sit quietly and imagine that you have a large sphere of white light over your head and it's coming, it's like a spotlight that's being sh shining onto your head, okay? And the heavens are putting down this spotlight and you are gonna completely just Fill up every single part of your body with that white light. And you're just cleansing out all of that negativity. So you feel so cleansed after doing this. It's amazing. It's such a good feeling to do this. And then you can imagine that sphere that's here. If you could take it from here, you feel every part of you has been cleansed. 
And what hurts the most right now? Is it your heart? So we're going to take that white sphere and let's put it at your heart chakra. If you have a hurt, if you're hurting from divorce or someone broke up with you, just put it at your heart chakra and just sit with it there and just think, okay, a little extra healing power from my heart chakra. And then just quietly come back into, you know, your space around you. And you'll feel so much better if you do that. Okay. Um, there are several different methods that I've learned over my 30 years of uh, studying law of attraction, Buddhism, so many different religions, Christianity, Catholicism, Judaism. I mean, so much that I've studied over these years. And I'm finding, you know, it's helped me, it's helped my st voice students. They are doing some incredible, amazing things. I'm not going to drop names, as I said, but I think it really does help because. Uh, there's just something about doing these kinds of meditations. I had my students do meditations before their classes. They loved it. They became so focused and they did so well in their classes. And some of the ones that I had do meditations before their voice lessons. Um, and you know, they're music teachers, they're makeup artists, they're singer songwriters, they're choreographers. They do these amazing things actors actresses just phenomenal talent that's out there and it, it really i've said this before in another video and i'm just gonna say it again i'm so proud of them i really really am um but you know it's taking these elements and really using them on a daily basis it really 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 does work okay i hope this helps bye